Hello and welcome to our training channel. Please subscribe for future updates. In this video we will highlight some details related to Siemens PLCs and Emerson Delta V Profinet communication. We will use the iDevice shared memory feature provided by particular Siemens PLCs. On the Emerson Delta V side, we are using a VIM2 module, which is configured to handle Profinet protocol for Delta V controller. We will focus on the architecture of the communication. To find more about iDevice features of Siemens PLC, please watch the video we created for this subject. Please pause the video to analyze each slide details. At the beginning you will see some slides where we are highlighting the data mapping and data flow between Siemens PLC and Delta V. On the second part, you will watch how values changed on Siemens PLC will show up on Delta V. To configure the Delta V VIM VIM2 card, please watch the video we created for it. Some theory for Delta V programmers who are looking to access the iDevice memory areas. Here is the process to map Siemens iDevice GSD files into VIM net for access via Profinet connections. In any Profinet device, data is mapped in the GSD file, supplied by the device manufacturer, with signal details and corresponding data type. For the Siemens iDevice, the GSD file is created with each slot containing a single Profinet octet or byte string mapping of the included data. Correspondent shared memory or transfer area is mapped into tags within the PLC. VI VIMNet needs to recognize the data types in the octet string for proper mapping. To do this it uses a default mapping to an array of 8-bit and signed integers. Starting in VIMNet version 9.5.4 this mapping can be modified in an instance of the iDevice GSD file. Siemens PLC Theory The Siemens PLC iDevice mapping creates a series of submodules with a mapping to the data tables with table type, offset and size specified, see next comments. When the GSD file is generated, each record generates a submodule with a single field, formatted as an octet string or byte string. The field name in the GSD file is auto-generated and does not match the sub-module name shown in the iDevice definition. An example of field name format is VSM underscore 2 underscore 1000, where the 1000 may vary based on the sub-module instance. Tags are associated with the data tables, addressed by table name, data type, and offset byte. These signal tags are associated with the iDevice definition by the address. VIMNet Import Mapping When an iDevice GSD file is imported into the VIMNet GSD editor, all octet or byte string fields are expanded into an array of a Delta V compatible data type. The offset for each field is shown in the first column in bytes. The second column contains the name and defaults to the GSD field ID with a suffix of byte offset. This default may be modified to use the submodule name with restrictions, in the VIMNet Profinet configuration dialog. Last column is the data type of the field. The data type defaults to 8-bit and signed integer. It may be changed in the VIMNet Profinet configuration defaults dialog. Selecting one of the sub-modules shows the IO data fields associated with the module. The completed buffer definition will now display the same tag names and data types as specified in the Siemens PLC configuration. Finally, on exiting the VIMNet GSD editor and adding the connection definition to the VIMNet IO tree as a connection, action, the detail window will show the mapping of the signals as defined in the Siemens controller. The data type and field name have default values when importing Profinet octet or byte string fields. These defaults can be changed in the VIMNet Profinet Properties dialog. To access these, right-click on the VIMNet tree branch, then in the VIMNet Properties dialog, select the Profinet button which opens the Profinet Configuration Parameters dialog. Selecting one of the entries in the default octet data type combo box, will select the default data type to convert the octet or byte string into, if insufficient bytes for a complete field, the last bytes will be left as 8-bit. By grouping these octets or bytes, the original Siemens PLC signals can be recreated on Delta V. As illustrated in the video, a value change on Siemens side will be reflected on Delta V side. 
If you have questions please email us at support at industrialautomation.net. Please subscribe for future updates. Happy programming!